Man, am I happy. The 2016 election is finally over. It was like agony going through that, wasn't it? Donald Trump's the next president of the United States, despite the best efforts of the bozo in chief behind me. And his efforts to corrupt our holy institution were pretty profound. We're going to go into those today. Well, here's the big headline of the 2016 election. You know, despite the fact that all the mainstream media say that the popular vote was run by crooked Hillary, that's not true. Donald Trump, in fact, has won the popular vote by a large margin. And that margin could be 3 million up to 5 million votes. Oh, sorry. That's not the reality the socialist media wants you to think. Well, here are some of the headlines following Donald Trump's historic victory. The new uh, Republic magazine says, and I quote, how the terrible, skewed, anachronistic electoral college gave us Trump. The Washington Post says, and I quote, why on earth do we have an electoral college anyway? The Huffington Post says, how the Electoral College is about to screw Democrats. <laughs> Isn't it about time? Uh, that's an aside. I'm so sorry. Time Magazine says, The troubling reason the Electoral College exists. And USA Today's headline reads, If Clinton wins the popular vote, expect calls to kill the Electoral College. Well, USA Today it got it right partially. Clinton did not win the popular vote, as I'll explain it in a moment but we are already seeing calls to kill the Electoral College. Take a look. It was a million things that are corrupted, that are still corrupted, starting with the goddamn Electoral College, which should be gone. And no one screams about that. Everybody just accepts it, that we have this sham form of elections. We have eliminated our three largest states. All the citizens, their vote are, votes are completely irrelevant to who becomes president. That's beyond insane. When are we going to change this goddamn thing? As of this moment on November 9th, the latest totals show Hillary Clinton with a popular vote lead of about 200,000 votes. That's the latest totals from the mainstream socialist media. But the reality is that Donald Trump won the popular vote by as much as 5 million votes. I say the low is 3, nah, the upper range is 5. How is this possible, you ask? Well because of the last minute vote fraud that was incited by Barack Obama himself in a criminal conspiracy that we'll go into a little bit later, along with the legislated vote fraud in states like California. Millions of Clinton votes were illegal votes cast by aliens. You see, no alien can vote legally in a federal election, period. Barack Obama committed a federal crime in a televised interview just days before the election. We have to make Obama answer for this crime. Patriots now need to speak out and demand that Obama be prosecuted for the crime of conspiracy to commit vote fraud. This was done once again so the Democrats who are a minority in this country can claim that the Electoral College is broken and become, by fraud, the majority. They're not the majority. The Electoral College works fine. It was designed by our founding fathers so that local dictators cannot overthrow the country, which is almost what happened in the 2016 election when states like California and New York signed up aliens to vote for Hillary Clinton. And our own president was claiming to give protection to aliens who would be thereby able to break the law. We the people need to throw the book at Obama to ensure that this never happens again and go after the state of California for allowing aliens to vote in federal elections. I'll tell you how you can help with this effort in just a minute. It's time for another blistering report from the front lines of the cultural war for a constitutional America. And now here's your host, Charles Benninghoff. Donald Trump really did win the popular vote in America, among legitimate voters that is, Aliens are not allowed to vote in our federal elections, period. Not whether they're a legal alien or an illegal alien, as long as they're not a citizen, they cannot vote. The Federation for American Immigration Reform says that as many as 3 million illegal aliens commit vote fraud in every federal election. The true figures are much higher given the swarm of aliens who have come in the past three years. 
in my opinion. Plus, the number was probably even higher in 2016, thanks to Barack Obama inciting them to commit vote fraud. There's a lot of illegal votes for Hillary Clinton. There's no way in God's green earth that she won the popular vote. Trump could have actually won a 48-state landslide or more if the foreigners had not been permitted to illegally vote in states like California. Let me give you an example of how the Democrats have been trying to destroy America from within for the past 50 years through vote fraud. All you gotta do is look no further than California. Just before the election, Governor Moonbeam Jerry Brown signed a law that allowed aliens to vote. By the way, that's a violation of federal law, and the specific statute is Chapter 18 of the United States Code, Section 611, which states that no alien, legal or illegal, can vote in a federal election, whether that election is federal in whole or in part. Hillary Clinton won California by a vote of 5.5 million to Trump's 3 million votes. What if 3 million illegal aliens and resident aliens voted in California illegally? California's 55 electoral votes, I believe, legitimately and legally belong to Donald Trump. This is what Barack Obama and the Democrat Party want to do to the whole country through alien voter fraud. Here is a video clip of Barack Obama encouraging aliens to illegally vote. Many of the millennials, dreamers, undocumented uh, citizens, and I call them citizens because they contribute to this country, are fearful of voting. So if I vote, will immigration know where I live? Will they come for my family and deport us? Not true. Okay. And the reason is, first of all, when you vote, you are a citizen yourself, and there is not a situation where the voting rolls somehow are transferred over and people start investigating, etc. The sanctity of the vote is strictly confidential in terms of who you voted for. If you have a family member who maybe is undocumented, then you have an even greater reason to vote. Obama's statement was a felonious conspiracy to commit federal vote fraud. If you encourage someone else to commit a crime and that person then commits the crime, you're liable and could be criminally prosecuted just like the person. But Obama did an even more serious crime. Under the color of federal authority granted to him as his president of the United States, Obama not only urged aliens to vote, a criminal act he knows to be a criminal act, he promised them his protection, his protection for prosecution for having committed a federal felony. That's what makes up a federal criminal conspiracy. And Obama is guilty of that just as plain as the nose on his face. You can face the same penalty as the person who commits the literal crime, but usually a lesser penalty is applied. However, in this case, I think it should be a higher penalty because he was acting under color of authority. Federal vote fraud carries a penalty of up to five years in prison and up to 10,000 for each offense. Can you believe that? 10,000 for each one of these little aliens that Obama got to commit crimes. So that works out to a sentence of life in prison for Obama and a $30 billion fine if he were to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. For every American patriot who's watching this video right now, I want you to imagine how you would feel today if Barack Obama had succeeded in stealing the election for crooked Hillary Clinton, because that was his intent. That was his intent when he incited aliens to illegally vote. He sought to undermine the popular vote and destroy the Electoral College, and the reason was so he could steal the election from the true majority of American patriots. The Electoral College was designed by our founding fathers for the specific purpose of stopping criminal conduct like Obama had. And you know what? We should be furious at this stunt. Democrats will walk around for the next four years telling us that the Electoral College is broken because Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. If we let them, we can't let them because she absolutely did not. She did not win the popular vote. And the Electoral College worked exactly as it was intended to so that sanctuary states with heavy alien populations cannot subvert the rest of the nation. I realize that everyone is euphoric because Trump won, but we have a real problem on our hands. Obama deserves to be prosecuted for the crime of conspiring to commit vote fraud. 
he should be facing a massive jail time for inciting millions of illegal and illegitimate votes for the Democrat Party. If an ordinary citizen votes for a dead person or votes multiple times and they get caught, that person goes to jail, maybe pays a fine, but for sure one or the other. Why should Barack Obama get off the hook when he does the same thing, but does it on a massive scale? If crime is not punished, it only encourages others to commit the same crime. We need to demand that Congress step in and pressure the Justice Department to prosecute Obama for incitement and conspiracy to commit vote fraud. And if the Justice Department doesn't do it, we need to have a special counsel appointed, a grand jury appointed, and we need to go after this criminal Obama. This man tried to have foreign voters steal the election from Donald Trump. You can join this effort by going to our action page and sending personalized letters to Congress today, demanding that Obama's criminal conspiracy be brought down and that he be hauled off to court to answer for his crimes. Our personalized message system is incredibly easy to use, and Bob Mallory will have instructions for you on the next screen explaining how to get to our action page, so stay tuned. Donald Trump won the 2016 popular vote in spite of massive vote fraud. If Americans want to have fair elections in our nation once again, we have to start punishing vote fraud, and that starts with you taking action. We need to go after Obama, and we need to go after the crooks in the state of California and other places that allow aliens to vote in federal elections. This is Charles Benninghoff signing off and wishing you freedom, fulfillment, and God's many blessings. Demand that Congress direct the Justice Department to charge Barack Obama with conspiracy to commit voter fraud. If you're watching this on our action page on our website, use the form next to the video screen to select a program. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, click the icon appearing now to find a link to our action page or check the video's description to find the link. Speak out today.